Hello and welcome to my Eatorium. I hope you're all doing quite well nonetheless. So, alright. I got another one of the Jimmy Dean bowl thingies here, which this one's supposed to be grilled steak. It has the same potato bullshit. This time though it does have plenty of the vegetables such as uh, the bell peppers and onions and that's, you know, that's like a universal favorite for most people. Especially with like quesadillas and all that, but I don't quite have a quesadilla, but instead I have a uh, multi-grain oat kind of pita bread thing here. It's, it smells alright, but you know, I just sort of bought it out of impulse because I needed some bread and I was like, ah, shit. So I went over to Walmart and got that and it was, it was painful. So what you get here is the same thing as before as the other, the pork one, but as you can see right there, it's doing pretty good, or at least it looks good. It has like a gravy sauce for this one. The uh, pork one didn't taste very good at all, like I was very disappointed with that one. So to try the sauce, we're going to take some of this pita bread and uh, dip it well, you can actually tear these in half and make a sandwich out of that. It's pretty nice uh, bread. Um, so we're going to roll this up a little bit and dip into the gravy. I tried the gravy first. We'll absorb some of that. Gravy's good. That's primarily because the onions and the peppers and all that just sort of blended in with the, so with the uh, gravy mixture, or the beef sauce as they call it. And it sort of marinated into that, and it just sort of came out to this nice texture, because usually onions do a good justice for stews and all that anyway, so it... Yeah. Hmm. Definitely a pleasant texture. Now I'm going to try some of the uh, potato, along with some of these veggies. I'm going to grab some of this... Uh, some onion, some pepper, and some of uh, the potato. Hmm, it's all right. I like the onion. The peppers don't kind of feel like they're not real peppers, if that makes any sense. Even though they are, they technically are, but they just taste weird. Potatoes are really good this time, though. Now I'm gonna try some of this, uh, some of this steak. A little bit tender. Not real steak, obviously. I can tell. Or at least it's not actual beef. It tastes like something entirely different. Like they took a cat in the backyard and just hacked it down and sort of just went. Row. You know, just sort of did that way. What I'm going to do now is make a little minuscule. That's a hole in that one. That's not going to work out too well. So I'm going to grab a little bit of this pepper, a little bit of that potato, a little bit of that steak, and make a little mini fajita. If I could find any steak. That was actually the problem of the last one. Was there was barely any steak, or barely, or I'm sorry, barely any pork. This one has sort of a similar problem. It has barely any steak sort of uh, is bad and the strips are too small to say it's uh, a hearty meal but scratch my hand there and let's try this out but yeah whatever that meat is it's tender the vegetables are uh, firm, but they're good. At least the, the peppers kind of taste funky to me. I mean, I like peppers. I like green peppers. I like hot peppers. I like sweet peppers, medium peppers, whatever peppers you want to peck at me. This just is very funky to me, though, with the gravy, I guess. But, hey, it's good. I'd probably buy this again. 
So would I recommend it? Yeah, if you're into steak. Uh, the pork one I'd avoid it so far. It doesn't taste very good. Uh, these Joseph's uh, pitas here are pretty good though. Mm. Absorbs the flavor, does its job. But, yeah, that's the Jimmy Dean grilled steak meal. It it tastes good, but there's just the peppers kind of set it back a little bit. I mean, they did their job with the marinade with the uh, with the beef stock. Or in this case, they call it the savory beef sauce. So, yeah, it's not too bad. The calories, if you give a crap about that, is... 710 milligrams of of cholesterol. I'm sorry, no, not cholesterol. Yeah, if it was that much, I would have bought that. Sodium is 710. The cholesterol is 40 milligrams, and the trans fat is 10 grams. And for all those, uh, again, as always, those those protein nuts, the people who bodybuild, stay the fuck away from this. <laughs> but it's uh, 10 grams of protein. So, but yeah. Take it easy. Thank you all for watching and touch my nipples. More of these videos soon.